Well, hello YouTube, my name's Jeff Banks and welcome to the Fashion Banks. If you've got a great wardrobe, good clothes, good shoes, they're worth looking after. So today, I'm gonna to look at how you look after your shoes. First of all, get a pair of rubber gloves because the last thing you wanna do is get polish all over your fingers and down your fingernails because the girlfriend or wife won't like that. Me, I normally acquire mine at the local filling station. First off, with a pair of shoes that have kind of seen a bit of wear and tear, first of all, remove the laces. So again, give the shoes a treat and actually take the laces out and give the shoes a new pair of laces. The next thing to do is to stuff the shoes with some newspaper. It gives them their shape back. They're slightly wet, and that means the paper will actually form the shape of the shoes. Put that down into the shoes to get their shaping back again. Push it down really hard so you actually get the shape back into the shoe. Next thing to do is to wipe off any excess dirt. So some warm soapy water to just clean the shoes. And me, I cut up my old t-shirts for this because when they've been washed a few times, they actually got lovely soft and they're better than dusters. But again, wipe the shoes down and get most of the excess off with a nice damp duster. Then, what you need to do is around here, it's called the welt of the shoe, and that can get bits of grit and dirt in it. So what I do is I use my old toothbrushes, I save those, and I actually clean the welt out with my old toothbrush. Gets rid of any dirt, dust on the inside of the shoe. And then when you've done that, give the shoe another wipe off. Then when you've done that, make sure the shoe is nice and dry. So take another cloth and dry the shoe off. And that's got rid of most of the dirt. So shoes mostly are made of leather which is like your skin. So the first thing you have to do is to give them a bit of moisturizer. So rejuvenate the leather by actually moisturizing it. And make sure you're very liberal with that and this will bring new life back to the leather. Now all over, plenty of moisturizer. And then when you've done that, wipe the excess off completely. So give that a wipe over now that that shoe's nicely moisturized and the leather is beginning to come alive again. Next thing is polish. Now you can use a brush for the polish, but me, I prefer to use a cloth. I like to get in there with my finger, and this is something that the old guardsmen used to do, always apply it with their fingers. In a circular motion, and getting the polish right into the leather, in that circular motion, a pair of shoes that's been worn a lot, it's gonna be thirsty, it's gonna lap this up. Make sure you go down onto the heel and also a lot of people they forget when they put their feet up on the desk They forget the underside of the shoe. So again for good measure just do the undersides as well. Get those nice and clean So again when you've done that take the cloth and just wipe off the excess of polish Now the next step is to start the brushing and polishing process so again, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give the shoes a good polishing brush. And this is the hard work. A ton of elbow grease will really give it a good old polish and shine. This is like going to a spa for a pair of shoes. It's like a wonderful massage and skin treatment all rolled into one. So the next thing to do is, having got them up to this level of shine, is to then, just if you like a really high shine on the shoe, is to wax it. So again, this is just a very, very fine coat of waxing. And all of these products you can get from your supermarket. You don't have to go with the skin cream, but the wax and shoe polish you can get from any supermarket. It's not expensive, but it really brings an old pair of shoes back to life. And then, first of all, take off the excess wax with a cloth. Make sure the underside is done as well. All around the heels, make sure they're nice and clean. And then finally, 
give the ship the best treat is a new pair of laces. So you can either do them in what they call a herringbone, or you can actually lace it as a crossover, which means you take the first lace from the bottom right up to the opening hole, and then you thread it in a crossway pattern. And this is the way you'll find shoes presented in most good shoe shops. And there we are, your favourite pair of shoes, looking like you. And don't forget to subscribe to the Fashion Banks.